What's up guys, today I want to talk about Messiah Nakamura. What's on Jay's mind? So many of us walk to the news that Messiah Nakamura had passed away um, recently, about nine days ago at the time of filming, I believe on the 21st of January. Um, who was this man? What did he do? What games did he bring us? How is he relevant to the gaming world? Um, well, I'm going to answer some of those questions. I'm going to answer those questions, but a little bit out of order from the way I asked. So, um, what games did he bring us? Well, the short answer is he didn't. What did he do for the gaming world and um, why is he relevant? He founded Namco. Many of you may know that Namco has brought us a lot of gaming greats, a lot of great franchises such as, well, Pac-Man, Galaxian, Galaga, Pole Position, and the list goes on and on. Um, they were very big in the arcade scene back in the late 70s early 80s um, but he was a businessman himself he didn't actually work on games um, per se he hired the right people to work on games for him um, you know and he's known for a lot of his business dealings Namco has actually started as an amusement park ride company and he basically sold amusement rides to other people that's what he did and then he decided to get into the video game industry when he saw how popular that was with the booms of arcades and whatnot some of his other business dealings um, he bought Atari Japan from Nolan Bushnell um, this was at a time where basically the Japan division of Atari was struggling really bad and Sega had offered something I guess low at the time, eighty thousand dollars. He came in with some outrageous offer and wound up buying for like five hundred thousand dollars. People thought he was crazy for that, uh, but it worked out. And this is where his mind comes in and his genius comes in. He was a businessman. He wasn't necessarily a video game man. He was a businessman. His job was to make money, and he did that. <clears throat> Something else he did. He bought um, Aladdin's castle. He bought Aladdin's castle, which was a arcade chain. At the time, I believe the biggest arcade chain in America, uh, and that was owned by Bally's, who most of you may know, Bally Midway, they were huge, 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 huge um, arcade moguls back in the day. So his business mind and his foresight uh, with doing things like that is why he is relevant and why he has cemented his footprint into the gaming industry and gaming history. Namco is one of my favorite game developers, if nothing else, uh, just for Pac-Man and, well, Tekken. And if you guys know me, you knew I was going to mention Tekken in this video, obviously. But they've had other great games, too. Um, just to name a few, Soul Calibur, Dig Dug. Um, I mentioned some of the older arcade stuff. They've done games like Klonoa, Katamari Damacy, um, and lots of other great games that we still play today, franchises that are still around today. And it's all because this man invented Namco and started uh, getting into the video game scene. Had he not, who knows, would we have Pac-Man today? don't know who knows um he he hired iwatani to make games for him and one of those games that he came up with was pac-man the best-selling video game of all time basically video game franchise of all time um i don't know it, it's hard to speculate it's hard to say but the fact is it's there it's done you can't change it and namco has brought us a ton and ton a ton of great titles and they will continue to do so because honestly he wasn't in control of Namco anymore and hasn't been for some time. So Namco's going to do their thing. We're going to continue to buy their products. But, you know, while the death of anybody is tragic, um, at least he was old when he died. He was 91. He lived a full life, a fruitful life. He, he goes out with his rightful place in video game history. So Godspeed, and we'll see you soon. I hope not. Actually, I'm still young. But... So you guys, let me know what you guys think. Put your thoughts down below. Put your favorite Namco games down below. Um, hell, if you're just one of these actually people, give me some facts. Go for it, please. To open forum. Let's discuss um, this man and his business genius and Namco in general. So, go.